Hi guys. Uh, it's so funny because like reading the book, all that I really wanted was for the Negro League players to be able to play in the major league. And I knew that was coming because we know that all of the, um, all of them, all of America is integrated now and they all play together. And so I knew this was coming. Um, but like that, this is it. So this is inning is called extra innings. And it's actually about the end of the Negro leagues. Um, so I want you to think about when I'm reading this, how the Negro league players felt, um, when the Negro leagues came to an end and then explain to me why you think that they felt that way. Okay, so again, this inning, it's called Extra Innings, and it's titled The End of the Negro Leagues. And our quote for this one is from Clark Griffith. And he was an owner of the Major League Washington Senators. And his quote says, if we get you boys, we're going to get the best ones. It's going to break up your league. Kind of sounds like a threat. After Jackie crossed, it just about killed the Negro Leagues. Most everyone was happy to see Jackie go to the majors, but it really burned many of the owners. Major League owners began to sign many of our ballplayers, but paid the Negro League owners next to nothing, if anything at all. J.L. Wilkinson, the owner of the Monarchs, didn't get a single dime for Jackie Robinson or for any of the other players he lost. The fans deserted the Negro Leagues when the Negroes went up to the majors. They'd travel hundreds of miles to see black players play on white teams, but they wouldn't even travel across town to see us. In 1946, the Homestead Grays drew about 30,000 people to a Sunday game. After 1947, they only drew 300. So before they had 30,000 fans and now they only have 300 fans. Their first baseman, Buck Leonard said, we couldn't even draw flies. To make things worse, our shining prince, Josh Gibson, the best batter in Negro League Baseball, didn't live to see integration happen. Heartbroken over never making to the majors, Josh passed away shortly after Jackie's debut with the Dodgers. The Negro, League Nation, the Negro National League folded in 1948, and the teams that were still around went over to the Negro American League. So there were the two leagues, the Negro National League and the Negro American League. There were still some good players in the Negro Leagues, but most of the best players like Hank Aaron, Willie Mays and Ernie Banks, they went on to the majors or the minors, or they played overseas. They tried to keep the leagues going, but the best days of the Negro Leagues had long passed. The league struggled up until its last day in 1960. In all, 58 out of more than 200 Negro League players ended up in the majors, so a little more than a fourth, a little more than 25%. People ask all the time if we're bitter because we weren't given the chance to play baseball in the major leagues for all those years. Some of us are, but most of us aren't. Most Negroes back then had to work in factories, wash windows, work on some man's plantation, and they didn't get paid much for it. We were fortunate men. We got to play baseball for a living something we would have done even if we hadn't got paid for it. When you can do what you love to do and get paid for it, it's a wonderful thing. We look at guys like Bob Gibson and Ken Griffey Jr. and we smile because we are the ones that made it possible for these guys to play in the major leagues. If there hadn't been no such thing as a Negro League, there would have never been a Jackie Robinson or Willie Mays, or Hank Aaron. These guys stand on our shoulders. We were the ones that cleared the way for them, and we changed the course of history.
And knowing that satisfies the soul. How can you be bitter about something like that? And that's the end of the book, guys. I'm so sad. Here's the last picture. So, put yourself in their place. Would you have been, I don't even want to give you the feelings, how would you have felt if the Negro Leagues had come to an end? Just tell me why. Why would you have felt that way? Because the, the Negro Leagues did come to an end. They ended in 1960. So how would you have felt if you were one of them? All right, guys, I'll see you later. Have a good day. Bye.